The long wait is almost over. Better Call Saul is back, and the complicated journey and transformation of Jimmy McGill into criminal lawyer Saul Goodman is almost complete, as we saw in this moment from last season. Take a look. Well, tell me about Saul Goodman. <clears throat> what do you mean? Well, what I mean is, if he's not Jimmy McGill, who is he? What's he about? <sighs> hmm. Well... Saul Goodman is, uh, he's the last line of defense for the little guy. Are you getting sold down the river? He's a life raft. Are you getting stepped on? He's a sharp stick. Ooh, and star of Better Call Saul, Patrick Fabian, joins us now. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, of course. It's good to have you here. And that's, that's one of like the com more calm scenes between between the two of you, between Howard and Jimmy. Where, you know, where is the relationship with the two of you at this point? Well, you know, I think Howard has extended a helping hand to Jimmy a lot yeah. over the seasons. And uh, in that scene, too, he's very much offering Jimmy a job. Unfortunately, he does not take it. And in the final season, uh, well, in the season five that we just saw that scene from, Howard's kind of washed his hands of, of Jimmy McGill at yeah. this point and washed his hands of Saul Goodman as well. Yeah. He's tried his best and that's it. Yeah, because, I mean, it's been confusing, I think, your character because, you, you know, Howard's had a lot of ups and downs. Like, you think he's a bad guy at first, but then you're like, no, he's not that, he's not really a bad guy. And he, like, tried to help Jimmy, then he kind of screwed him over. So it's like... Well, yeah, I, I don't know if I tried to screw him over. Oh. The fans are like, you know, I was Darth Vader and then I was bad to Kim. But yeah. in the end, I would like to make the argument that Howard <laughs> Hamlin is just trying to run a law firm as best he can. Yes. But those McGill brothers and that Kim Wexler, they're really sort of screwing it up. Those McGill brothers they and really that are. Kim Wexler. <laughs> yeah, your scenes with Ray Seahorn are some of the best on this show. And has it been fun for you to kind of watch her come over to the dark side? Oh, well, you know, uh, Ray and I are, are massive friends off screen. And I think it shows it's, it's so fun yeah. to play scenes with her. Although I have to say, I'm always wounded when we're doing a scene and Kim Wexler's yelling at me or taking me to task. Part of me <laughs> in my brain is going, Ray, what are you doing? You know, but it's a lot of fun. And yeah. I can't wait to see what happens for her in season six. I know, me too. Um, you know, and Bob Odenkirk has said that the only reason he's live really is because after suffering a heart attack, it was because of you and Ray helping him. Like, what, what happened in that moment? What do you remember from that? Well, I mean, that's just good fortune that he was around somebody. He was around a lot of people when the incident occurred. Yeah. And Ray and I and Bob, when we finish our scenes, we sort of hang out together. We run our lines and we do all those sort of things. Yeah. And we were all standing there and that's when Bob collapsed. And we, so we were the first ones there to go ahead and be able to call for help. So our theater training, being able to shout really loud, came in handy because it was a big sound stage. But then finally help came. They did what they needed to do. And yeah. as Bob has said very much during his book tour, and I can't believe I'm promoting Bob Odenkirk's book, but go buy <laughs> comedy, 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 <laughs> drama yeah. because it's a really good book. But he says that as well. Um, but you helped Bobby. He also helped you get a dog, right? Oh, he did. <laughs> we got two great dogs. We got a rescue off of uh, the, re the reservation to Hajali when we were shooting uh, Bagman, for those fans who know. When they're walking through the desert, there was a dog that came and visited, and Bob said, we should rescue the dog. Yeah. So they did, but the dog was pregnant. So Bob, Ray, and I all she lived together. The so the dog came home, and then Bob and I were out of town when Ray Seahorn had to deliver a midwife eight puppies. Oh, my God. So my wife and I took the mother home and we took the runt of the litter oh, home and now they that. live with our daughters in Los Angeles. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, fan love for this show is insane. Uh, there's even Reddit forums uh, dissecting every scene, even talking about your wardrobe. I mean, how does it feel that one of your legacies is bringing a new color into existence and that is Ham Lindigo? Ham Lindigo Blue <laughs> is, is beautiful. And I want to give a shout out to Jennifer Bryan, who's the wardrobe designer of the show. Um, she pours me into those beautiful suits <laughs> and the reason those suits look so good is because they are Italian and they are handmade and yes, yes they get paid more than me and I'm yes. not joking. <laughs> <laughs> well did you take anything from the set as a you know something to remember Howard by? You know it was really great props took uh, the only HHM pen that they ever made that sat on my desk for all seven seasons and at the end of it they gave it to me. Oh that's nice you'd yeah. have to have that framed. Uh, in like well, a shadow box. I, I, I gotta keep it away from my kids. So they're like, coloring. Let's yeah, do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you have a lot of other projects going on. Uh, I know that you have the other Zoe, right? What can you tell us about that? The other Zoe is a movie for Amazon, and I, what I can tell you is that I got to work with Andy McDowell. I got to play her husband, which oh, nice. was such a treat. She's equally nice as she is talented, yeah. and we got to shoot in North Carolina. Uh, we played the parents of kids. It's a girl who has amnesia. There's some hijinks and some love, and Andy and I basically uh, steer the whole ship. Oh, I love.
love that. And she does seem so warm and lovely. She's I'm so wonderful. glad to hear yeah. that. You have more stuff going on, but we're going to talk about that next time you come, okay? Great. Thank you bring so much. Bring the for kids, having me. bring the dog. We like them all. <laughs> all right, you can catch the final season of Better Call Saul when it premieres April 18th at 9 p.m. on AMC and AMC Plus. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you.